Well, in storytelling in nursery in particular, we often start with nursery rhymes. So, ba ba black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm a sheep. Usually, when you first start doing that, they'll go, "No, no, no, we can't have that. It's not right." So I go, Baba ba, black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, I'm a sheep. No, 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 it's not right. So we go round, 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 we do it over and over again until I say, Well, just think about it. Baba ba, black sheep, have you any wool? Of course you've got wool. Where does he keep his wool? And they all say, Well, he keeps it on his back. And you say, it's a bit like you keeping your hair on your head, isn't it? So one day you come into school, you've cut all your hair off and your teacher says, what's happened to your hair? And you say, it's OK, I've got it in three bags and I'm carrying them here. Sheep carries its hair on his back, not, not in three bags. And where would he carry them? In his mouth? And then he'd have to go... Ba ba black sheep, have you any wool? Ooh, got a wolf ball. Which would be really silly. And then you can carry on. And maybe we might do a different ending. So you get Ba ba black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. One for the master, two for the dame. None for the little boy who's fallen down the drain. They seem to particularly like that one. Or none for the little boy who hasn't got a brain. None for the little boy who's gone to catch a train. You think of some of your own. None for the little boy who's on holiday in Spain. And so on. Yes, sir, yes, sir, I'm a sheep.